to platforms on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on multiple platforms. But I don't know if there is going to be any glitch or not. Uh, so let me know, please, if you're able to see me, if you're able to connect with me. I would really appreciate if you can uh, write your comments uh, in a chat. I really, really do appreciate uh, those comments. Uh, last stream, I believe it was a really great stream, actually. Uh, so we had over 100 uh, different comments uh, just in the live uh, uh, chat. And uh, uh, we uh, tried, I mean, I tried to explain... Um, uh, the way I approach to wood carving, at least part of wood carving, because wood carving is a lot more than just uh, take a, a gouge or veiner or, you know, chisel and dig inside of the wood. Okay, so uh, when people are um, writing me emails, sometimes I'm getting funny emails, okay. Uh, I, I do teach uh, uh, in person in some of the uh, schools uh, throughout the you know, right now, mostly it's going to be in the United States. I don't know if I'm going to travel overseas uh, this year just because of uh, that pandemic uh, going on. Uh, I, I postponed it my uh, in-person classes. But, uh, but anyway, uh, I'm getting emails. And uh, some of the emails, uh, for me, it's kind of funny emails. Okay, you know, there's a title, a title, a master wood carver. Uh, so you have to actually earn it. You have to, you know, it's like a royalty in the woodworking world, I would say. And some people writing me email when they, you know, uh, found out, let's say, that I'm teaching uh, uh, in person in some of the schools. And I'm going to be in multiple places this year. I'm going to be in Mark Adams uh, uh, School in Indianapolis. I'm going to be in Maine. I'm going to be in Florida, Tampa. Uh, and uh, they're writing me email and they're saying, well, I would love to become a master wood carver. Should I take two week course or one will do? Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. So it doesn't take the whole week. It, all it takes just the 37 minutes of uh, live stream. My answer is, uh, you know, it's easy to teach, take a gouge or, you know, whatever the carver shovel, how we say it, and dig inside of the wood. It's easy. Okay, so it's not a problem. Uh, wood carving actually adds uh, a lot more than digging inside of the wood. Wood carving, uh, it's uh, ability to think in three-dimensional world. Okay, ability to uh, see what uh, two-dimensional people don't see. Although, uh, don't get me wrong, uh, uh, every human being able to develop that ability because we have the same brains i mean i believe we created by the same god and the uh, ability of human brains uh, it's beyond what we're using uh, pretty much but i'm thinking i'm just thinking um, uh, most of the people don't use parts of the brain cells because they really don't need that okay but when I'm teaching, let's say, in a certain schools, let's say in Florida, uh, when I go to teach uh, uh, in, a, in person, uh, I see uh, people after 50s, okay? Well, I do have some uh, 30s, 40s uh, people, uh, sometimes even 18 years old in person. But most of the people, let's say in Florida, when I'm teaching, it's uh, over 50s, okay? So 50s and 60s, okay? Something like that. And uh, those people... Uh, they know uh, they are in a second part of life and uh, they know uh, they have to do something with the brains uh, to kind of stir it up because they don't want to lose uh, memories, okay? They don't want to lose uh, ability to remember. And uh, one of the beautiful things that wood carving skill, wood carving hobby, if you want to do it as a hobby, develops one of the things it's actually the new brain cells and that's a proven fact because you train your brains to work in 3d okay to work in 3d three-dimensional world so that is uh, uh the best cure also it beats uh, all the depression okay for especially for those people who don't know uh, what to do especially right now i mean almost the whole world stay home I mean, hashtag stay home, 
okay staying home working home you know you can't walk i i, I am uh, in a state of florida we have a statewide uh, you know stay home order okay and that's not that bad but some of the states actually in the united states they really really restricted uh, you know the movements even on the outside and the police stopping actually you know in florida we have a friends police stopping those people just uh, walking outside okay uh, and uh, wood carving actually helps you know to stay busy to stay and uh, think uh, i in my opinion it beats all the tv shows i mean how much can you watch that uh, you know whatever the news channel you're watching and uh, worry about what's going on and so on let's concentrate on just the beautiful things all bad stuff is gonna pass okay but we're gonna do uh, some wood carving today uh, please um, uh, don't forget uh, I'm um, uh, I'm streaming on multiple platforms I am uh, on YouTube I am on Facebook on Twitter on Instagram uh, everywhere I mean like 13 platforms on the Twitch and uh, on Russian sites, couple sites, on Adnaklasniki and uh, Vkontakte. Uh, so please uh, ask me questions. Even if you don't understand English, uh, if you uh, can ask me, don't ask me in Arabic because it takes me that time, you know, to translate. Just go to the Google Translate, translate it, and then post the question, okay? So, and I'll try to answer. In Russian, you can just write in Russian because it's my language I can understand. And I'll try to explain that in English and uh, maybe later i'll connect with you and uh, we'll try to explain that uh, in a russian language okay so uh, uh, let me introduce myself okay uh, my name is um, alexander grabovetsky and uh, i'm a wood carver i'm carving since six years old okay uh, please don't forget uh, to you know just uh, like it important okay because uh, algorithms of uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook are they pushing the content content up only if people like it subscribe it and also uh, get that bell notification and not only that just to go to if you're on YouTube just to get all the notification that way I'm not uh, when I'm gonna stream you're not gonna miss it okay so really important because otherwise you forget now if you want to get emails from me if you want to get emails uh, from me directly just uh, to get that notification one of the person actually asked me uh, in the comments uh, if i can notify by email yes if you go to my website a school website not my personal website not business website but the school website schoolofwoodcarving.com schoolofwoodcarving.com and uh, if you are a member of my school you you will automatically get notifications uh, when i'm going to be live streaming if you're not and if you're not planning to become you know a member shame on you okay but anyway that's okay i do have a section above free shopping and lessons and it's going to take you to another page and you can sign up for the free sharpening lessons and that way you're going to get on my email list okay of course the best if you would become member of course you know that way you will have access to all of the emails all of the emails uh, and the, all of the materials uh, on my website not my website school website but let me get uh, uh, to carving hey let me get to carving all right so i'm still working on this piece uh, and uh, i'm gonna work on this piece let me read uh, some of the uh, comments i do have a comments on the facebook and comments uh, on uh, youtube great so someone is saying um, that they really think thank me in russian uh, for that opportunity thank you very much adam thank you very much you're saying uh, the best at carving school okay here you go can you see that so i can i can uh, actually leave some of the comments uh, like that if you wish but let me um uh let me you know just to work on this piece okay so of course of course uh, what you saw last time uh, in my last stream so i developed um, a lot more pretty much a lot more so uh, it's not finished yet of course it's not finished and uh, i'm leaving uh, finishing stage 
to the end i mean at the end yes i will finish it i will finish it now if you do have any questions please you know feel free to ask feel free to ask all right all right wonderful uh, so today uh, today 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 what i want to do uh, uh, see uh, that movement uh, it's kind of interweaves all together you know this movement goes that direction that movement goes that direction this movement opposite direction and that movement goes uh, that direction and it just kind of uh, opposite directions movement okay and uh, I i've done it uh, on a purpose i've done that on a purpose because um, i really 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 want to uh, be authentic authentic to venus uh, to be exact uh, it's a venetian style 15th and 16th century okay i would say it's probably second part of uh, 15th century and uh, beginning of 16th century and the, um, when you study the movements uh, uh, you know uh, of acanthus and that is okay acanthus movements okay it's uh, the common name for it uh, but different regions they do different uh, uh, development of acanthus you know this acanthus is just uh, uh, acanthus uh, which is uh, venetian style all right so but uh, what i'm going to do today i'm going to work on this section if you look a little closer right here okay see that is like a piece of molding okay that is like a piece of molding and it goes like that and uh, then it hides and then it sticks out and exposes right here so but this is a one big movement even if uh, uh, i do have some stuff above and by the way this is a solid piece so nothing glued on okay nothing glued on so people don't uh, get full i did not glue anything so and if you're part of my school you would see the whole process uh, from the first cut and uh, let me tell you something else uh, uh, people on instagram thank you very much for joining uh, for thumbs up and uh, love faces i love you too you can also ask me questions uh, i you know i'll try to answer but uh, also if uh, if you can hear me okay if you can uh, say something that is good ivan9633 on instagram saying здравствуйте здравствуйте ivan thank you okay now uh people on instagram if you want to see the full picture the full uh, hd picture because you see right now just a limited part okay just a section uh just because of the nature of uh, instagram how they stream it uh if you want to see the whole uh, picture and also in full hd just to go to my youtube channel okay uh, uh, uh you can actually go uh, i posted just about uh a uh, couple hours ago i believe uh, maybe less uh, a post on instagram and with the link with the bitly okay so just uh, do that way or just go on youtube uh you know just a uh, youtube forward slash user forward slash grabovetsky just my last name that way you're going to be able uh, to see a lot better now um uh, the question is always uh, asked uh, one of uh, people on instagram asking what is wood okay you, you, i i guess you're just asking what type of wood okay what type of wood uh, it's the best wood if you in united states uh, it is uh, lime wood in europe it's a linden wood in germany it is uh, lipa in uh, russian part of uh, you know soviet union i would say used to be soviet union uh, but it's the same wood same species it's the best for the wood carving so that's the uh, there's another question in russian language uh, so let me show that to you uh, the question is uh, this person wants to know how long is my course is it possible to learn in uh, one month or in two months just the basics i gonna answer uh, i mean uh, it, it, it all depends it all depends if you online it's better just to go uh, and learn you know um, uh, like 24 hours a day seven days a week 
so you the answer is yes the basics yes absolutely you can learn in one month and two months even in just one week i pretty much you can do uh, now can you see a chat uh, i posted that on the left hand side i know probably uh, uh, you know instagram doesn't see that chat i hope it's not distracting hope it's not distracting hold on just a second let me read the questions let me read the questions it's good okay now let me let me do uh, let me do you know some work all right so i'm gonna work uh, right now on this section all right and if you do have a questions please uh, ask me paul uh, is saying i have uh, been watching mary may videos for the last year you just signed you know you just signed for my school well thank you very much paul i'm gonna show that uh you know like on a full screen i really do appreciate paul that you signed first of all that you signed for my school uh okay let me tell you the difference okay i i know my my, my personally okay we communicate and i do know uh other schools like chris pie both of those people they do have a schools online and i really honor i respect uh those people and uh, the way they, they teach and so on i really do appreciate those people uh, now the difference between a school what i am trying to run it's not even school okay it is not even school i would say it is um, uh, uh, it is more uh, virtual apprenticeship okay i am uh, trying to communicate the old old european way so which means i'm not cutting anything uh, from my videos on my school i have like over 1500 right now uh, video segments uh, at school site school of woodcarving.com all right so i'm not cutting anything so pretty much if i make mistake you see i'm making mistake and you know how i'm fixing and why i'm fixing the way i'm fixing okay uh, so that's the difference i'm not trying to entertain uh, people uh, i'm not trying trying to make jokes you know i'm not trying to be uh, i'm not trying to replace tv okay so it's pretty much i'm inviting you to my woodworking shop or wood carving shop and just to follow with me alone sometimes it could be boring but i do have ability you can click and just to get you know uh, speed up a little bit the way i talk if it's a little too slow you can do that okay so that's the difference um now a person in russian he is asking how long how many hours uh, a day uh, you know for my online school it's all it's okay let me answer in russian and then i'll jump uh, in english сколько часов длится уроки в день и сколько будет стоить курсы за два месяца в школе а не через онлайн значит не через онлайн это нужно будет заранее зарегистрироваться но там мы делаем по одной не по одной неделе okay? uh, уроки в день где-то 8-9 часов в день 5 дней в неделю okay so this person is asking uh, pretty much when i'm teaching in person and here you go i can show you a picture okay uh, when i'm teaching in person okay uh, how long it lasts uh, uh, you know in person in person you know it lasts uh, pretty much uh, five days like the whole week and that's uh, from eight to five let's say something like that eight nine hours ten hours and so on it depends on the school of course okay it depends on the school all right uh, so if you're interested but i know uh mark adams school they already sold out uh, uh my classes uh you you can check main school uh, i do have a video on my channel about uh, in-person uh, classes uh, i'm gonna be in maine i'm gonna be in tampa school of woodwork uh, check if they not sold out yet uh, mark adams school uh, right now we postponed it my may classes uh, check uh, full time because i have to be uh, i'm gonna be multiple times in mark adams school this year so check full okay uh, so if it's not sold out yet 
okay i do have a weekend classes and i do have uh, the whole week classes right there okay check it out okay uh now check with the main also just go uh, uh on my channel check those videos and uh, you'll see uh, what i'm gonna be in main and the uh, other schools uh, some of them canceled so i took out uh, from my side because of the whatever the virus uh, situation going on uh but anyway uh, if, uh, i know people from uh, all over the world watching people from france from uh, australia from uh, european countries so if you know some schools who would love to invite me i would love to come i mean just to communicate share that information i would love to come and teach you also in person if it's okay with you okay but anyway uh now let me carve okay so uh, like i said this detail this detail it's going to be semi like close to detail right here on this side okay you're welcome by the way so this person in russian he's as uh, saying спасибо большое by the way is it the uh, armenian or georgian okay okay uh paul uh paul is asking a question uh, about uh, butternut Okay, what is my opinion about the butternut? So uh, the butternut, uh, it's beautiful wood. It's just hard to get uh, in the United States nowadays. I mean, it's, it depends where you're at. If you're in Pennsylvania, uh, Ohio, Indiana, you're still able to get that butternut. But if you're in uh, like a southern state, it's almost impossible. But I love it, okay? I love butternut. The only thing I don't like about butternut, the, you know, the... Uh, the grain okay so if you uh, depends on the job what you do okay let's say if you're working on a really big movements like that and uh, if you just uh, see too many stripes and the butternut does have a you know pronounced grain so that would not be too nice it's not gonna look uh, uh, too beautiful i would say okay that is my opinion but if it's not involving uh, movements like that you know a lot of details uh, butternut is a really great wood really great wood let me read um, uh, another person asking about um, cnc sorry to repeat the question i do appreciate the pure talent and knowledge you got how can we educate people that this a hand carved masterpiece and not machine carved well uh, the question is great but uh, i don't really have to push the idea it's not uh, well first of all okay machine cannot go underneath okay no uh, machine even the armed one cannot undercut you know on inside and go in and look at this piece look at this piece okay can you i mean can you imagine any of the machine do that okay this is one of my pieces i mean look how deep uh, the excavation is uh, there is a no cnc machine whatsoever able to do that okay look at this piece okay there's absolutely no cnc machine this is my work by the way okay uh, look at the right here it's a uh, by the way this piece which you see with the flowers it's online it's one of the courses pretty much online uh what i'm teaching step by step how i do that i mean see how intricate it is i mean you can break it if it's a machine okay if you, if it's a cnc if even their machine uh, or even if there's a CNC uh, it's impossible there's absolutely no machine can do that okay maybe in future in future it's gonna be um, you know some machine like a printer okay uh, it's possible but uh, I don't think I don't think it's possible uh, to do nowadays okay and I, all of my work I do by hand. All of my work I do by hand. Uh, those line hats, uh, unlace right here. Take a look uh, really close. I mean, see all of those details and the muscle movements and so on. Uh, and it's just by the chisel, okay? By gouge, by chisel, all right? Um, so I, I doubt, I really doubt uh, that uh, uh, any of the machine can do that, all right? so that is my opinion so no cnc yet at least yet at least maybe some uh, microscopic uh, the armed five axis uh, cnc 
able to but not but if you still have a doubts uh, that uh, this piece uh, is done um, uh, by machine i mean go online on my school and you'll see it is not it is not all right now uh, uh this person is uh, from georgia uh russian part not not the state of georgia not russian part but uh, soviet union used to be soviet union that's a country of course uh, now, uh, he's asking about uh, the prices uh, 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 for uh, uh, teaching. Uh, as far as the pricing goes, every school, if I'm teaching online, uh, school charges you. So, uh, as far as my school online, uh, it's uh, like $20 a month. Okay, so that's the price. Okay. But anyway, let me get the gouge and I'm going to start carving. Uh, get ready for... Um, you know some questions for me okay uh, the first gouge what I'm gonna take uh, it's not gonna be a gouge in all I'll take just a skew okay skew chisel it's gonna be right there and I'm gonna start uh, removing what I don't need so this part is not the hardest by the way okay so what I'm uh, doing right now, that part is not the hardest. Uh, I'm talking about uh, just to take a gouge in your hand or chisel in your hand and create the form, dig a chisel inside of the wood. It's not the hardest. The hardest is uh, design, okay? You really have to think in 3D. You really have to think in 3D. So, that is a preliminary cuts, but uh, I, I do have a limitation how I can do with this tool because of the curvature, it curves upward, okay? It just curves upward. And for me, it's impossible. Let me read the Instagram if there's any questions. And... Uh, There is a people joined. Somebody called me a king. Thank you very much on Instagram. Maybe I'm not the king yet, but you know. <laughs> so now salsa, straight gouges versus fishtail. Okay, great question. Great question. Let me show that question. Okay, so Celso, she is, uh, or he is, uh, I don't know if it's he or she, <laughs> but you are part of my school now, I mean, for a couple of weeks already. Uh, but let me um, answer that question, okay? So straight gouges versus um, uh, fishtails. Pull some of them and uh, I can show it to you. And I can show it to you. Let me use a number nine example. Number nine example, and it's going to be a same approximately quarter inch. Okay. Here you go. Okay. Those two tools are number nine. Okay. Number nine. And uh, both of them, both of them. Uh, approximately quarter inch this is a little wider this one is uh it says six millimeters and this is uh, also says uh you know six millimeters supposedly they both to be you know supposed to be uh six millimeter uh, millimeters celso thank you very much you are a man <laughs> i apologize that i don't know uh if you're a woman or man okay but anyway so see those two tools six millimeters even if it's marked both unfortunately i can't get even closer to you uh, so it's a six millimeters six millimeters quarter inch but the difference this has a long 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 groove on inside and uh, i can uh, use that pretty much all my life until you know that groove ends somewhere right there it's still going to be usable okay so the handle is going to be much bigger this one on another hand is a fish tail it has only you know like a tail of a fish but rest of it it's just uh, 
whatever the stem okay so those two tools of course there's a different uh, type also there's a, a longi okay let me show you a longi it is it is different type of uh, here is a, a longi let me get a little closer to you see uh, this one is also number nine although it's a 14 millimeters it's a half an inch uh, but see it's just the tapers it tapers so that tool is a longi fishtail a longi and a straight and to exaggerate uh, a longi versus fishtail i can just pull probably a couple number sevens couple number sevens right here okay this is a 14 millimeters 14 millimeters uh, number seven and this one is uh, also i believe 14 millimeters number seven okay exactly the same tool i'm talking about the sweep wise okay take a look this one is a fishtail and this one is a, a longi it's also just the tapers it's not the straight uh, they do uh, exactly the same operation the only difference is uh, let me show you uh, right uh, on the carving okay um, for example if uh, if i need to get through this hole and uh, create the cut for me it's a lot easier to get like this on inside then rotate and uh, create my cut right on inside with this one i cannot rotate okay i can get inside of the hole same way but I can't, I can't really carve on inside, okay? With this one, and especially, it's probably a good uh, idea to show to you with uh, number nine. It's, uh, it's, it's the most what I, I like to use. I can get on inside in with the smallest, in the smallest uh, areas, and the uh, carve on inside like this. It's a uh, number one advantage, okay? Uh, second advantage of... Um, uh, those tools uh, if you look um, let's say like number seven uh, if you look at the number seven right here sorry if uh, you didn't see that what i tried to explain to you it was a little too far but anyway let me show you again okay let me show you again because i don't know if you saw it i don't know if you saw it Okay. so what I was trying to say you know you could get on inside of the holes like this rotate and uh, create all the cuts on inside all the excavation with the uh, uh, fishtail with uh, a longi and a straight tool you can get inside but you cannot rotate the tool and you can't carve uh, all around with this you can carve all around that's how I, I do my deep excavations by using fishtail uh, second advantage uh, of a uh, fishtail a tool versus straight tool i can use just the corner okay just the corner i can get uh, uh you know in a, some tiny spots where i can't get with the straight tool so that is the advantage my lighting is little too dark hold on just a second is it better now juliet Master, I have been enrolled in your school since the end of 2018. I watch your lessons every day. Do you ever carve humans and animals? Uh, if so, will you do a series of lessons? Uh, it is um, a great question, okay? It is a great question. All right. See those lines right here? That is a part of a school that is a part of a school i do have all the filming done uh you know how i carved that the only thing is i have to uh edit the videos okay so it's coming up uh, but i still have to take care of uh, the real life projects uh, you know in this case this is a real life project i really need to work and concentrate on that but yes uh, those lines they're coming up right is lighting okay now Let me check uh, Instagram. Okay, if you do have any more questions, please ask. Uh, Andrew, 
Is uh, lighting uh, better now? Let me know, please. Okay, but anyway, so let me continue to carve uh, that. Okay, so I'm gonna remove uh, some of that material, although it's not that convenient because I do have a ceiling. So I have to be really careful how I do that. And also, I don't want to take too much. I don't want to take too much. As far as um, um, links uh, to schools uh, where I'm going to teach this year, uh, well, um, maybe next time, maybe I'm going to just prepare those links. But you can um, uh, uh, check on my channel here on uh, YouTube. And uh, uh, there's uh, some videos about um, Mark Adams school of woodworking there's a uh, probably gonna be a link uh, to tampa a uh, school of woodwork uh, there's gonna be also a video about uh, maine a state of maine okay so we're gonna teach uh, this year so just to check right there uh, there's gonna be some links but uh, you gotta check that uh, quickly i know mark adams school uh, uh, you know, uh, the early uh, summer classes, they all sold out. Unless if someone is not going to show up, so you're still going to get... Uh, but there's a waiting list, by the way, so you can get on the waiting list. I don't know if uh, main still available. I, I Yes, I think it's available because in Maine it's a new school, a brand new woodworking school. And... Uh, uh, you can check that just to check one of my videos uh, right there about the main um, okay it's a beautiful area by the way if you want to visit the uh, state of Maine it's one of the most gorgeous one of the most gorgeous views you can imagine in the town I'm gonna teach okay so it's gonna be beautiful in the main uh, also in Florida I gonna be in June, I believe, in Florida. If uh, if uh, if something gonna change uh, with the virus, if we're not gonna, uh, you know, postpone or cancel it, we don't know yet. I, we still didn't cancel it yet in Florida, in Tampa. Uh, so check with the School of Woodwork, uh, with Kate. She is uh, running the school, um, and uh, you can talk to her. Just uh, Google Florida school of woodwork or just the tampa school of woodwork but the name of it it's florida school of woodwork okay all right let me see what else okay that is a interesting question okay in case if you chip any on desired part how will I fix it if I chip uh, if I break something as I understand right if I break something um, uh, how I fix it that was the previous question uh, uh, the way I fix it it's just right there okay <laughs> it's a just uh, pretty much glue all right that's just pretty much glue uh, I uh, I use the small bottle of glue uh, and I glue it back if I need to glue it back. And uh, yes, I mean, uh, you're saying if it's uh, ever happened to me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I broke some stuff. But let me see what uh, Adam is saying or asking. After you have completed the section of carving do you protect it from dust and the hand oil while you continue carving another section uh, that is uh, uh, depends on the project okay uh, it is all depends on the project uh, how i gonna finish it okay so let's say uh, if it's gonna be a uh, paint grade like this this is gonna be painted or if i'm planning to stain uh, I'm not uh, doing anything, although it's a good idea, uh, you know, to protect anyway. From dust, no, because I don't have any dust in the shop. I'm just using hand tools, there's no dust. From uh, body oils, uh, uh, 
there is no way uh, i mean it is good idea to protect that and uh, sometimes what you do uh, you know you just get a cloth or just a paper towel and let's say you finished with the section of uh, carving you just place your cloth right there and just continue to work that way you protect if you're not planning to put any stain or any paint so that is a good idea to protect from hands okay also good idea to use the gloves uh, and uh, i use uh, sometimes just the painter's gloves uh, the white ones uh, painter's gloves uh, to carve but it's uh, i mean the problem with the gloves i can't grab uh, my handle all right but most of the time i don't now the body oils is not the biggest problem uh, body oils um, it's oxidation what happens with the wood when you're touching you can have absolutely clean hands like i do have uh, i clean my hands all the time but when you're touching it it reaction happens inside of the wood okay and it becomes darker okay but uh i don't see a big problem if you really want about that uh, then you protect like i said just to put some kind of clothes or paper towel like this uh, you know on the sections and you continue to work uh, on the next part if it's uh, going to be unfinished like like this piece for example uh like um uh, let me show you that piece right here okay see it's never been finished so i never applied any finish on that and uh, yes i had to protect that absolutely i had to protect that Hope it answers your question. All right, let me continue to carve. So now uh, I do have a challenge because I cannot carve uh, upward right here because I do have this uh, chunk on my way and I have to switch to another tool. Uh, it has to have a movement like that. And yes, uh, later on uh, you will see that development, especially if you're part of my school, only you probably gonna see that. Uh, just the members of my school uh, how it's completely going to be developed uh, step by step but what i have to do now i have to switch uh, uh, to a long band tool and work that way and a long band is just a tool with a really banded part of carving part and uh, it just gives me ability to stay above and not hit with the handle you know the parts already done And by the way, that is a uh, number four, okay, long band, and that's 25 millimeters, one inch. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe it and hit that notification bell um, if you don't want to miss it. I'm getting emails uh, from people who missed of my live streams and they really wanted to see but they missed that right unfortunately so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to get uh, my canva or just the, the main movement uh, like a blend from all all the way from here right here and yes have to keep an eye uh, the grain of the wood for example it was okay to carve this way but right here i have to turn a little different direction because grain is changing and this movement is going to be beautiful movement by the way it's going to be absolutely gorgeous movement in a couple minutes i'm going to check the questions if you have any it's time to ask someone on instagram uh, saying in arabic sorry guys can't read arabic or uh, farsi so if you would just uh, translate that that would be wonderful okay well let me get a little closer to you a little closer oh by the way do you like so far my live stream or no and what happened with people on uh, insta on uh, facebook do you see me i don't really see any 
movements right there uh, last time I had a problem with the uh, Facebook stream if you see me just uh, give me a thumbs up or you know something for I would just know you there I see there's a lot of comments but mostly it's from one person all right any more questions wonderful people any more questions and also it helps me right here because I uh, see uh, I've got really high detail right on the left hand side and the straight tool would not let me carve that direction but the uh, long band tool is long band tool is Just uh, establishing 3D form. That's what I'm doing, okay? And maybe I should put some... Uh... Oh, okay, Jonah. Jonas, great to see you. Okay, long time no see. Uh, by the way, Jonas is an artist uh, from Sweden, I believe, right? So he's a really good artist, Jonah. That, that Jonas, that's good, okay? So, okay, wonderful. Let me put some music on the background because I don't want to bore you. And I'm gonna finish, you know, really soon my live stream, and I'm gonna continue to carve only for school, only for school. All right. So for me, the goal is uh, to make a really tangent are really continuous movement even in 3d okay even in 3d so that is really important for me not to break uh, the movement because it's going to be visible from all over so that's why i have to establish uh, pretty much that movement really nicely and tangent keep the tangency okay wonderful so what I did it goes like that then it moves slightly flat and then it's gonna continue and go right there but I on inside I will create a concave and also some molding movements exactly the same pretty much idea what I have right here so see it's like a molding okay so it's uh, gonna be more architectural okay wonderful people uh, so if you don't have any more questions I'm gonna finish with my live stream today so keep an eye the next time uh, Brian saying this live streams are great thank you for doing them uh, thank you very much Brian thank you and let me see another what chisel brand uh, of tools you recommend uh, thank you very much for saying that I'm doing a brilliant job on the internet now uh, someone is saying do you sometimes change your design after you have started carving on a piece yes absolutely I do absolutely I do let me pull those uh, questions from you uh, in life okay for you can see now uh, the next Я бы в Грузию с удовольствием приехал. Someone just wrote that in Russian that they inviting me to Georgia. Okay, European part of Georgia. It's not state of Georgia in the United States. Jose saying looks great, really flows well. Thank you very much. Juliet saying thank you very much. Juliet, thank you very much. I love your name, by the way, okay? I love your name. Uh, Ariana saying uh, how I can find like your wise. I'm not quite understand what you mean. 
Uh, Andrew Leroy is saying thank you, Alexander. Thank you very much, Andrew. Okay, let me see if I missed something. Paul is saying have a wonderful or great day. Okay. Uh, as far as the design uh, I, uh, goes, am I changing design after? I already carving. Yes, I do all the time. I do all the time. Thank you very much, wonderful people. If you don't want to miss um, uh, anything, uh, greetings from Poland. Great work. Regards. Thank you very much. Dziękuję. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. If you don't want to miss anything uh, of what I'm doing, uh, please uh, don't forget uh, uh, to subscribe. Uh, David is saying, where do you learn scroll work? I can't just leave drawing design. Let me see because it's just a too fast. Okay, uh, uh, David is saying how much he can find that uh, on internet. Uh, not much, okay, not much. Uh, okay, uh, Brian is saying Lee Valley Carving Vice. Uh, Lee Valley Carving Vice is uh, actually, I'm using all the time Lee Valley Carving Vice. Uh, and this picture right here, uh, you can see uh, this piece is uh, held by, you know, Lee Valley uh, Vice, okay? And that's a Canadian brand Veritas on the Lee Valley uh, dot com, I believe that's what it is. All right. Um, uh, Andrew Le Le Leroy asks uh, if it's better to be uh, copying uh, other people um, to be original. I mean, better to be original or copy others. Okay, it all depends what you mean, uh, uh, Andrew. Uh, I don't quite understand uh, sometimes what. Uh, uh, what it means to be original you still original even uh, even if you uh, copy uh, someone else's work you still original uh, okay uh, you still um, um, you okay you can't replace uh, your tool marks uh, you know you can't uh, replicate the tool marks it's going to be only you it's still going to be original uh, I do not copy personally uh, anybody else's work I don't uh, do that but on another hand on my school site people actually it's exactly what they do they copy my work and I I do have a certification program I mean cert, you know just to get the certificate uh, if the work is done that way I see if a person is able or not I encourage you to start with copying uh, uh, because you will understand much better what they did uh, and until you understand the wisdom behind, you know, the logic behind what they did and why they did and the way they did, then you can start developing your own, I would say, okay? But I would definitely start with the copying. I don't copy anybody, but uh, I encourage you to do, okay? I encourage you to do it. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, let me read more. I hope it answers, by the way. Mark Baldwin saying thank you very, you know, very generous of you to share this. Absolutely, no problem. Okay, wonderful people. I think um, I think I'm gonna finish right now. Okay, have a wonderful day. Uh, don't uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Uh, you know, again, uh, I'm uh, Alexander Krabovetsky. I'm a, a wood carver. I'm carving six, since six years old. I'm pretty much carving every day. Of, uh, of my life and uh, uh, if you're watching me on um, uh, YouTube like it subscribe it if you're not subscribed yet uh, to my channel and also hit that bell and uh, choose uh, all the notifications otherwise you're gonna lose my live streams of course you can rewatch it I mean that's okay but live stream uh, gives you ability to ask me uh, questions if you are uh, on the Facebook, uh, share it. And also you can share that uh, on uh, YouTube. You can share it uh, to different platforms. I would really appreciate if you can share it to uh, Facebook or groups, uh, you know, woodworking, wood carving groups. Um, that would help also probably. Uh, please, if it's possible, do that, okay? Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day and blessings to you. Safe, I mean, stay safe, hashtag stay home. <laughs> and uh, 